Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is going to be my December haul slash Christmas gifts video. And I have a lot to show you, so it is going to be a long one. So hopefully um, you guys will all make it through. So you might wanna grab a snack and a drink. I am also dog sitting. Um, my brother's dog is here. And I'm not sure how he is going to act right now. He's chewing on a bone to be entertained. But he likes my 100% attention. So we shall see how this goes. So hopefully we'll get through this. So I'm going to start with supplies. Um, I purchased these for my um, coloring sockness with Meg videos for my uh, pastels to try. Um, I did like using these a lot. These were nice. I didn't try these yet, so I will have to try these. So these I just bought their, um, it's cute with three T's, C-U-T-T-T-E, 120 eyeshadow brush counts. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I got it on Amazon. It's So you got 120 of them. And then this one, it doesn't have a sticker on it, but they're just makeup pads. Makeup, yeah, those soft makeup pad things. So yeah, I got those. Um, the next rest of all the supplies I have were gifts. So I'm going to start with these. Um, Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Lab and I did a little Christmas gift exchange between the two of us. And what it was was a mug exchange. Well, the funny thing about it was neither one of us drink coffee. So I told her, I said, well, I like mugs because I like to put pens in them for my craft room. Um, so she sent me this. Isn't that like the cutest thing ever? It has his name on the inside. So he's going to sit right here on my desk and um, he will hold some pens or something. He will be have a specific spot for him and yeah isn't it so cute his little feet and um along with the mug she sent me some distress crayons so these ones they are water reactive pearlescent pigment these three are um i don't know what the colors if there's color names on them let's see but yes, this one is Winter Frost. And we have Tart Cranberry and Fresh Balsam. So I'm, from what I understand, these are going to be like gelatos or King Art gel sticks or my Crayola gel crayons. Um, so like that. Um, I haven't had a chance to try them out. This month has been crazy. If you're watching this and I have not completed our buddy color, um, I'm probably not going to be able to by the end of the month. I'm going to try really, really hard, but I will be messaging all of you. Uh, so yeah, I got those ones. And then I got this set. It's like grays and whites. I'm not going to take them all out for, oh, well, I can kind of see names here. We got antique linen, vintage photo, Walnut Stain, I uh, can't see that one. Picket Fence, Black Soot, and a Hiker Smoke, I think that's what it says. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm excited to try these out because I don't have any of these, so I'm very excited to try them out. She also sent me this book, Chris, Vintage Christmas Window. I'm very excited about it. Um, so it's just, um, it's by Creative Haven, and the illustrator is David and La Gina Bodo. So it's just vintage store windows. Very, very fun. Um, I did not get a chance to color in it, as you can see, but uh, next year. 
There is always next year and I put my gift. Yeah. So I'm excited about that one. So that was from Jeannie. Next, um, I am going to keep going with supplies. The next one is my husband sent, got me a bunch of different fun little things. Um, first, he got me the Faber-Castell Gelatos, the iridescent. Um, it has 15 of them in here. Let's see if I can open it. I've had a very hard time earlier. As you can see, I ripped it. I did not get a chance to swatch anything, so I do apologize for that. But here they are. Aren't they beautiful? Look at these. They're so bright. Bright and vibrant. I can't even get them out. This one is uh, Mars is the color. And these are going to be just like the Distress Ink gel crayons. I'm excited. We'll have to experiment with those. It comes with a brush because you can um, activate them, I believe, like watercolors. And it comes with a couple of different types of sponge. This one's really firm and this one is more like a makeup one. So fun. So there is that. He also got me a bunch of Distress Inks. Um, finding places for everything here. So we've got sets. Um, let's try this one first. He got me sets number um, 13, 14, and 15. So we have Cracked Pistachio, Abandoned Coral, Mermaid Lagoon, Fossilized Amber, Twisted Citron, Hickory Smoke. That's probably what that... It wasn't Hiker Smoke. <laughs> Hickory Smoke. Um, Blueprint Sketch, Ground Espresso, Wilted Violet, Carved Pumpkin, Lucky Clover, and Candied Apple. So I'm excited to try those out. I got those, and then I got another set, and they came together, um, these three. I got another set. Uh, I've got 10, 11, and 12. This one is 12. I haven't opened it. I opened these and threw the package away. I was like, oh, shoot, I haven't done the video yet. So this one, we have Brush Corduroy, Chipped Sapphire, Aged Mahogany, and Pine Needling. And this one is number 12. And then for number 11, we have Festive Berry Tea Dye, Shabby Shatters, and Milled Lavender. And then number 10, we have Tattered Rose, Iced Spruce, Bundled Sage, and Squeezed Lemonade. I need to put my glasses on so I can read things. That would be helpful. Putting these behind me. Otherwise, yeah. He also got me some Tombow blenders. So these are, I like to use these with my ink tents and my watercolor pencils. And yeah, I needed some new ones. So he got me some of those. He got me a bunch of stickles. So um, we got silver. So here's silver. We've got, this is green. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkliness. Uh, this one is ice blue. We've got Christmas red. I now have three of these, but you can never have more and uh, more reds, but they came in packs. So, um, another Christmas red, this one, we have lime green, golden rod, frosted lace and crystal. And I needed a new crystal cause I was out of that one. So. Yay, that was exciting. I'm putting those back under here. They're all falling over. It's avalanche. Then something very exciting. I got the Trojitin pencils. 
I believe they're by Tombow. So they're Tombow's colored pencils. So I have, now have the full set. There are 90 pencils here. Um, I think they are. This is, is this the one? I think this is the one. This is the one. No, this one. This one's my favorite one with the pastels and the neons. I just love the way, I love the way they look. I'm not going to open all of them, but I will tell you it's volumes. Oh, maybe I don't have them all. This is four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine. And this is volumes one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have them all. Seven, eight, nine. But these ones here, I just love the way these pencils look. I haven't tried them out, so I do not know what they look like or how they feel or anything like that. I know other people have them, but aren't those beautiful? Look at those. These are the neons. So you've got plastic pink, surprised red, equatorial orange, sunset orange, dazzling sun, fiery yellow, lightning yellow, neon green, flash green, and vigorous green. Um, I need to get a case. I do not want to leave them in here. These are the pale tones. Aren't those, look at those. Isn't that like absolutely beautiful? Like if I was going to get one set, um, it would be these. I just think they're so pretty to look at. We've got Cameo Pink, Almond Blossom, Ecru, Eggshell, Asparagus, Opal Green, Cascade, Horizon Blue, Lupine, and Verbena. So pretty. Yes. And then we have the dull tones. So these are like darker tones. We've got cedar wood, cinnamon, oil, yellow, sage green, verdigris, hummingbird, jay blue, hydrangea blue, heather, and Tyrian purple. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And then it came with the shows you all the colors for all the volumes. So now I have the pale tones, the vivid tones, the deep tones. I have pale tones number two and deep tone two, the light gray tone one, fluorescence, very pale tones and the dull tones. So we just looked at seven, eight, nine. So yeah, how exciting is that? So I gotta get a case for them. And I, I love how they look though, because they look like the books, but it's not a practical way to keep them. So yeah, we're gonna set those off to the side. And um, my dad, bought me lots of fun things but um as far as coloring things go he got me a new set of the oh hoo hoo acrylic paint pens so now i have a spare set this is actually i use them so much this will be my third set to have owned um i do highly recommend them for the Disney's uh, color by numbers. But yeah, these are amazing. And I like, they're very opaque. Uh, they cover up the numbers. They do a really, really good job. And he also got me a new set of Brute Funer Squares. This is a replacement set. My root Funer squares are getting very small. So now I have a spare set. Um, it looks like this. And I have the original root Funer squares that are have the color names in a different language. So the newer ones now have the color names in English. So yeah, oh, this one's broken. The uh, elastic thing came right out. So we've got these. 
see if we can fix that. Put those aside. Aren't these pretty? I love new pencils. And the smell of new pencils. And that one. So there's 120 colors. I highly recommend these. are a great budget-friendly set. One of my favorite budget-friendly sets, I'll just have to say. Oh, it's not wanting to go back in. Why aren't we going in? I don't know what it's stuck on. Oh, dear. There we go. Got it. And it comes with a swatch chart. And then this tells you all the colors. Fun, fun, fun. So the next supply, the last supply I have, and then the rest is books. The last supply I do have is from my brother. My brother got me, now there's, it, it was a whole theme to his present. Um, we went to the beach for Thanksgiving, um, my whole family, my husband and I, my brother, his wife, my dad, and then my, and then her family, my sister-in-law's family. And my sister-in-law has a nephew and him, the nephew, he's, I don't know how old he is, seven, I think he's seven, seven. I'm wrong. Sorry. I think he's seven. And my brother and I, we went to a restaurant and it was taking a really long time. So he, we had these little tiny pieces of white paper and Manny, his name is Manny. And he would tell us, okay, let's all draw this. So the three of us would draw something and then we'd have everybody else. There was nine of us total vote on whose was the best. And I do, I love to draw. And, and I taught them how to draw a pig using letters of the alphabet. Um, I thought uh, they thought that was great. So for Christmas, I got this shuttle art sketch set. Um, I will open it and show it to you with a whole bunch of how to draw books. So I'm gonna show you these one by one real quick. So first let's look at the sketch set. So first, he wrapped everything separate. It was very cute. So first was this. It's a 52 pack. It's a nice case. And inside here we have all kinds of things. We got um, two different kinds of sketch pads. I think it's just the same. It's 68 pound, lots of tooth, 100 GSM sketch pads. We've got a whole bunch of different types of pencils and I believe some charcoal pencils. I think there's graphite. <clears throat> there's a pencil extender here. We've got some um, blending stumps. I think this is the charcoal. We got one of those erasers. Like it looks like it feels like Play-Doh or I'm, I'm not sure what everything is. I need to figure it out. Let's see. Does it tell us? Yes, it does. So, it comes with graphite pencils are the ones in the blue. Um, the next ones are the charcoal. We've got hard, medium, and soft. Uh, these are called pastel pencils, so they're not pencils there, um, pastels. Um, then we have a woodless graphite pencil. I believe that's this right here. And then we have, let's see, a charcoal willow sticks. Those are in here. I'm not really sure what those are. They look like this. Very fun. I think they go, I don't know what they, I don't know what they do. I really don't know. I'm going to have to learn all this because, you know, I'm not a professional drawer. So, but I will learn. 
Then we have um, these right here are charcoal sticks. These are graphite sticks over here. Over here we have chalk, creamy, pigment rich, perfect. I think they're chalk pastels here. Uh, the blender stumps. You have a sandpaper pencil pointer. Again, you have the sketch pads. And you have um, this eraser. And you got a pencil extender. You got more than one pencil extender because I think there's one in the pencils. Um, binder clips. It says there's a paintbrush. I don't see a paintbrush. Do you guys see a paintbrush? I don't. And then it shows two, um, oh, they're in here. There's pencil sharpeners over here and an eraser. And this is a need eraser. I don't, I don't see a paintbrush. Do y'all see a paintbrush? I got dipped. I didn't get the paintbrush. I don't need a paintbrush. So yeah. So it came with that and those sketch pads. And then this also came with this 80 set colored shuttle art colored pencils. They're artist quality, vibrant colors, perfect for coloring books and more. And it comes with another. Um, so in here you get a coloring book, a shuttle art coloring book. I'm pretty sure it's all Shutterstock images. I didn't open it. Let's see. Wow. It's a small book and some of these are very tiny little species. It's two-sided. Yeah, these are definitely Shutterstock images oh look you got a test page so you got that one you got another sketch pad this one is 160 gsm so well, this one even has more tooth to it this one has two erasers in it not erasers two pencil sharpeners and a pencil extender You have your swatch chart. I came all banged up, so you guys know. But, yeah. And it's not Amazon's fault. <clears throat> it's who delivers it. Have you watched the people who deliver these packages? They just throw them. They do not care. So, yeah, they're beautiful. So, I did have one come broken. This one is the blue. 007. They look very similar to my uh, Castle Arts. They're pretty though. Ta da! Or my Sioux colors. So, yeah, three trays of pencils. There's 80 colors. Perfect. You need to get a case for these. Swatch them all out. But yes. So then he got me the how to draw book. Which I will show it to you one by one. I gotta get everything out of the way. Alright, the first one we I opened, he he wrapped this one all by itself was a Learn to Draw Disney New Edition Celebrating Characters Collection. Um, it looks like so much fun. So you learn how to draw the Disney characters. Here is uh, Fix It Felix. Look, see, you get it for step by step. So much fun, Doug and Carl, Tomater. Merlin, Nemo and Dory, Simba, 
Winnie the Pooh, Pluto, Mickey Mouse. So much fun. So I got that one. I got a how to draw 101 different dinosaurs step by step. So we've got all kinds of different dinosaurs. It looks like so much fun. This one I was excited about, how to draw Super Mario World. And we've got all kinds of different, I don't know their names, so I wish it said their names and it doesn't. I know we got Yoshi and what is this name? Wario, is that a Mario? Wari, Princess Peach. Here we have, I don't know, raccoon looking thing. Here is Mario as a raccoon. So fun. But yeah, I'm excited. Drawing book for kids and all fans. I got how to draw 101 monsters. I don't know who makes these. I guess I should look. Um, Imagine That Group is the publisher. So I, I don't know. But yeah, here's monsters. And they have names. Oh, designed and illustrated by Dan Green. Wonder if he does them all. Yep, that one's Dan Green. The Mario Brothers one. I highly doubt it says. No, it doesn't say. And the Disney is Disney. Then we have um, Famous Cartoon Characters by Lee J. Ames. So you've got Moon Mullins, Lyle the Lion, Scooby-Doo, Henry. These are like classic. Baby Puss. Oh, here you got Ding-a-Ling. Grape Ape. Pokey Wolf, Andy Cap, Brother Juniper, Agatha Crumb. I don't know who half of these are. Mrs. Lockhorn, Mr. Lockhorn, Mutt and Jeff. I've heard of them. Snagglepuss, Huckleberry Hound. I know, I've heard of him. Catfish, Broomhilda. Ooh, Ming the Mer Merciless. Flash Gordon. Flash. Ah, he's a man of the universe. Oh, I like that movie. We've got Snuffy Smith and Jigs. Crazy Cat and Ignatz the Mouse. Quincy. Oh, it's Little Orphan Annie and Sandy. I'm a big Aunt Annie fan. Felix the Cat. The Phantom. Yogi Bear and Boo Boo. Is it Magilla Gorilla? Dick Tracy. Dino and Barney. And Wilma and Fred. And Beetle Bailey and Alfred E. Newman. Um, yep. Yeah, the Cats and Jimmer. Something Kids, um, The Little King, Hagar the Horrible, Hi and Lewis, Tin Tin and Jughead. Oh, you got Veronica and Archie, Dagwood and Blondie, and Popeye. Where Popeye the Sailor Man? So much fun. That'll be fun. So those are like um, classic cartoon characters. We've got 101 animals. We've got all sorts of different kinds of animals. An anteater, hedgehog, kiwi, puppy. And then we have 101 cute animals. 
an otter. Look at how cute. I love how I turned right to the otter. So much fun. And this one is by Sophia Elizabeth. Fun, fun, fun. Wasn't that exciting? So then we also, this one I would go along with, uh, I guess, supplies. I got the Disney's 100 sticker anthology. There are 600 stickers in here. This book is very, very thick. I am so excited. If you want to see what a full flip through of what's in here, um, I can do that. I'm not going to do that now. We'll be here all day. But you know me and my Disney. I do love my Disney and stickers. I'm a huge fan of stickers. So I'm excited. This one was from my dad. Next, I got, um, this was sent to me, um, by D. And, um, I will put her YouTube name across the screen. She recently was getting rid of, or she was, what did she say? She was, and she was going through her coloring book. She was de-stashing. And she contacted me because she knows, you know, me and my Disney loving asked me if I would love to have this book. And I said, yes, of course I would. This is my second copy. So now I have an extra copy. But it is one of the Hatchet Hero art therapy books. And this is Disney's Graffiti. I love it. It is mostly villains. I will tell you that. But I really love it. I've had a lot of fun coloring in the one that I have. So I am absolutely thrilled to have a second copy. So yes, thank you, Dee. Thank you, thank you. Um, the next one I got as a gift. This is Fairy and Fantasy 5. This is the new Christine Karen book. And this was given to me by Dana from Dana's Coloring Obsession. We also ex both sent each other a Christmas gift this year. Love this. I really want to color in these books. I color her bunny books, yes. But, yeah, I'm still not comfortable with my skin and hair. Oh, I love this. I've colored this. This was one of her... Um, Patreon. So is this one. I uh, I do belong to her Patreon. So some of these were her Patreon exclusives. So you guys know. I love. Uh, this is the cover one. I think that is so cute. It is her normal premium Amazon paper. But yes. I am very excited to color in this. So thank you, Dana, so very much. I am so excited. Next one we have is my dad got me a whole bunch of coloring books. And I mean a whole bunch of coloring books. Um, he had fun going on my list. So here is Delicate Darlings Grayscale Coloring Book by Julia Speary. Um, it has two sets of images. These are also intimidating to me, but I, I think they are absolutely beautiful. I do want to attempt it. I really do. I'm like, doing, look at that. Is that not so sweet? And I love it's the sketchy look. I love that. And it's not AI. One way you can tell is by looking at their hands. See, fingers are perfect. Um, I do like Julia Speary a lot. She's a great illustrator. He got me some Tabitha Barnett books. This is Cute Monsters coloring book. This one also has two sets. It has the black background and the white background. So 
so much fun. Very, very cute. And he got me a fairy fairy's tale coloring book by Tabitha Barnett, but written by Franklin C. Newberry. So I'm guessing it's a story. Oh, yep, there's a story through this one. So you're coloring a storybook. Look at how cute they are. And they're like her broken circles, but they're not broken. I love it. And then, of course, the Whimsical Gnome Adult Coloring Book by Tabitha Barnett. Again, we have black background, but my black ones have lines through it, which is fine. It's totally fine. Look at how cute. If you know me, you need my gnomes. And there's a hashtag. I just saw it the other day. A year-long hashtag uh, for coloring gnomes. I couldn't tell you who it is, but I saw it. He got me Color the Classics Alice in Wonderland, a curiouser coloring book. And this one is by... See if it tells us. This the illustrations are J Un Lee. Uh, Waves of Color is the publisher. This one came out originally in 2015, so it is an older coloring book. Look again. If you want full flip throughs of any of these books, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you. This will go into my Alice in Wonderland collection. I have quite a few. This is more like anime style. And instead of a cat, do I see a cat? She has a dog. No Dinah, we had a dog instead. So I love the cover of this book. So that's Alice in Wonderland. He got me Color the Classics, The Wizard of Oz. And this one is illustrated by J. Un Lee. And this one also was 2015. And again, Waves of Color. Look at how cute she is. I don't know that part of Wizard of Oz. There she is when he leaves without her. Well, there they all are. Dorothy, Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Lion. I watched this yesterday. Oh, I had it on while I was getting ready for one of my many Christmases I had. Very cute. So that is Wizard of Oz. Um, he got me a copy of The Romantic Country, The Second Tale. So this is to replace my spare because as you guys know, my spare copy somehow got wet. Don't ask me how, I do not know how that happened. Um, so I am happy to have it and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this one. I think out of the three, this is my favorite one. The only book I don't have a spare of is The Third Tale. Um, but I heard it's starting to come out different places, so. There is Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Eerie. So that was it from my dad. These two are from my husband. Uh, Mythographic Color and Discover Fairy Wonderland by Fabiana Atanasio. Um, this is a brand new uh, release. And I do like fairies. Oh, look at that. That is too cute. Look at the mole. Whenever I see a mole, I think of Thumbelina. <gasps> look at that kitty. Oh my goodness. That is a very cute kitty. So we're doing good so far with the... Uh, my, my little friend, he's chewing on a chew stick. I, I, 
I got to choose it because I turned it on to film and he was yelling at me, barking at me. What is that? Is it a platypus? Let me know in the comments below. What is that? Oh, it's possums with, with a unicorn horn. I do like her animals, the way she draws her animals. So fun. <clears throat> and he got me. This was also a new release, Labyrinth by Joseph Kattenbang. <clears throat> this one has some fun pictures in it. I love this. Don't ask me why, but I like that. Look at the sweet little face. Again, if you want full flip throughs of any of these, let me know. I would be happy to do that. I believe, I don't remember if I showed this or not. Um, last month. But I got this at our Sam's Club. And it is um, Harry Potter. It's a new one by Scholastic. I have the other one. It's like the chibi style. I like it. I think it's fun. So that is Harry Potter's Magical Games coloring book by Scholastic, Wizarding World Scholastic. I got this one, uh, Beauties and Beasties by Camilla Derco. I am excited about this one. This is a new release. Look at him. I want to color that one. I think that's fun. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but I think it's fun. So fun. I Her artwork is so different. It's fun. So there's that one. Um, this one I ordered a while back and it came, it was on back order. I got it from Amazon UK. Um, this is the Disney Winnie the Pooh coloring. Over 90 amazing images to color in. There are a lot of wallpaper pages in here, but there are also a lot of regular pictures to color. Like for some reason, I love this. I really don't know why. I love that. Like that one's not wallpapery. But like I said, a lot of it is very wallpapery. But here you've got some regular Winnie the Pooh pictures. <laughs> They're polka dotted. That one's cute. It's a blustery day. So fun. So we need the poo coloring book. And then um, I got myself, the rest of these I got myself throughout the month. Um, yeah, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> this one is A Very Fairy Christmas by Tabitha Barnett. And again, there are duplicates, one with a black background and one with a white background. I am a big Tabitha Barnett fan. I really like her illustrations. They are so fun. I got Cute Christmas by Tabitha Barnett. And again, two sets, black background and a white background. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> so cute. Love it. And then um, I got... Sherry Baldi's My Besties Snow Dragons coloring book. Look at that right there. I mean, that just says it all right there. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. I like dragons. And these are just so cute. <laughs> Look at him. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. And there are two sets in here. Um, so there's that one. This was my most recent Coloring Haven subscription magazine. This is not my favorite. I will tell you that right now. This will be probably one eventually I will de-stash. I do not like creepy dolls. Um, no, I don't. That's not my thing. Nope, nope, nope. I am not into scary, gory. Though that one, if you she did wasn't holding this doll head, it's pretty. But then she's got this ugly doll head. And these are all by um, Eureka Sh something. See, like, I think this would be fun to color, but then she's got this creepy doll. Yeah. Um, I'll let you know if I plan on stashing it, if any of you are interested. Camellia Dierko, Dierko, Camellia Angel Kova came out with a new coloring book. Uh, 50 diminutive wintertime scenes to color. Now, I wasn't a fan of the diminutive books, but this one actually has characters in it. Look. So it's not just the houses. It has some of her animals in it and her people. Though I do like that a lot. I think that is way cute. Look, see? Kitties. So, yeah, but I'm a collector of hers, so I have to have them all. Well, all but her mandalas. That's just because I'm not a mandala person. Then this is a new release. Um, this is Underwater Worlds by Renata. Yep, that last name right there. This is a fun book. See if it tells me when it was released exactly. It just says 2023. But yeah, it came out, I think, within the last month. But it's very fun. A single-sided, good, thick paper. I got it on Amazon. U.S. Very cute. If you like sea life, it's a fun one. There's mermaid in there ever so often. Look at him. That's a cute octopus with the flowers. Dolphins. It'll be fun. It kind of feels like um, mythographic paper. A little bit. It's a little bit thicker, though. But it's smooth. Not a lot of tooth to it. This must be the illustrator right here. So yeah, she was born in Poland. She creates illustrations on the border between magical realism and fairy tales. Very fun. I don't know what her other book was. It says we meet again. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> but very cute. And then um, I saved this one for last because I know you all know that I got it. But um, I actually translated all of the stories that are in here. So I was going to show you real quick. Because I've done a full flip through of this already. But I just wanted to share with you. So the first few stories in here are Aesop's Fables. So we have <clears throat> The North Wind and the Sun, The Fox and the Stork. Let's see if we can find them as we go. So this is The North Wind and the Sun. This is The Fox and the Stork. 
This one is the hare and the tortoise. This one is the field mouse. This one here is the crow and the birds. And then here, this story is Narcissus and Echo. And this one is Ariadne or something like that. A-R-I-A-D-N-E. Then we have the tale of Genji. And then this one um, is this story. I've had a lot of people tell me how to pronounce it. But um, if I could, yeah, I, I forget. I'm sorry. And somebody told me about one of the whole stories. It's a very sad story. I'll, when we get to that, I'll, I'll show you. So this one, this is also part of that one. And then I was right about the next one. This is Beauty and the Beast. Same with this side. And then here we start the Nutcracker. And this one here, this is a part of the Nutcracker too. Then we have the Christmas Carol on the story of Scrooge. I was right about that one. This one is Notre Dame of Paris. And then this one starts Little Women. I was right about that one. So here we've got Little Women. And this one is Little Women. Then you have Alice, and it's Alice through the Looking Glass. This one is. And same with this one. This one here, I believe, is also Alice through the Looking Glass. This is the story um, that someone wrote the whole story for me. It's called The Dog of Flanders, and it's about a homeless boy. That's a sad story. And this is the Tales, Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. I was right about that one. This one is The Homeless Child. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the story that they were telling me about. Maybe it was this one. That's The Homeless Child. This is Heidi. This is Heidi. This one is The Little Princess. When I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, I love that movie. I like the Shirley Temple version. So this is The Little Princess. And then we had this one here is also Little Princess. Then we have Jungle Book. This one is The Happy Prince. I don't know that story. And then we have Anne of Green Gables. They're in this one. This one is Dr. Doolittle. I was right. Dr. Doolittle. I know. I was pretty good at some of them, right? Pretty good. So the pink snail, they ride in the pink snail. Oh, you might get, we might get a, um, some noise here in a second. This one is the Velveteen Rabbit. I wouldn't have known that by that. And then the next one is called the Restaurants with Many Orders. I never heard of that one either. And then this one is the stone flower, all of these two, and this one, and then again, we have the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That is so exciting to me. But yeah, that is all of them. So I went in and used Google Translate for all of the stories. Hope that helps. Um, yeah. So yeah, that is my December haul video for you all. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're new and made it through, thank you. Um, I'd love to have you join us, so please subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment below. I love getting comments. Um, I love making these videos and talking to all of you. And I will talk to you all real soon.